Welcome to our online. Here we have some simple examples of how to solve for the variable x in these various equations. First we're going to use the addition subtraction property and then we're going to show you how you can do that actually more easily and more quickly by simply moving things across the equal sign and changing the sign of the term that we move. So let's first use the addition subtraction property. Here we want to solve for x and we have a plus 4 on the left side. We want to get rid of that plus 4 so we can subtract 4 from the left side, then we of course must also subtract 4 from the right side. So I have x plus 4, and we're going to subtract a 4 from the left side, minus 4. And of course when we do that, we must do exactly the same on the right side. So 5 minus 4. And then you can see that 4 minus 4 is 0, so on the left side we simply have an x, and on the right side 5 minus 4 is equal to 1, and so x equals 1. On our second example, notice we have a plus 2 on the left side. We want to get rid of that, so we're going to subtract a 2 from the left side. So this becomes minus 2 on the left side. And of course, if we subtract a 2 from the left side, we must also subtract a 2 from the right side. So you can see that the property requires that we do exactly the same thing on both sides of the equation. So 2 minus 2 is 0, we end up with an x on the left side equals 3 plus 4 is 7, minus 2 is equal to 5. Over here we have a minus 4 on the left side, we want to get rid of that, so we're going to add a 4 to the left side. So we end up with x minus 4, then plus 4. And of course, if we're going to add a 4 to the left side, we must also add a 4 to the right side. Again, we do exactly the same thing to both sides of the equation, otherwise the equation is no longer the same as before. We have altered the equation, we don't want to do that. So minus 4 plus 4 goes to 0, we end up with an x is equal to 8 plus 4, or 12. Now we're going to solve the very same three equations, but instead of using the addition subtraction property, we're going to simply move things across the equal sign, and remember when we move things across the equal sign, we actually change the sign of that element or, or of that particular term. So in this case, we don't want the 4 on the left side, we want to move it to the right side. So we want to move it over here, and when we move it, we're going to change the sign. So this becomes x is equal to 5, it was plus 4 on the left side, so it becomes minus 4 on the right side. And of course we combine, we get x is equal to 1. So notice we end up with the exact same thing that we did over here. When 4 minus 4 goes to 0, we end up with x equals 5 minus 4. We do the same over here. We have a plus 2 on the left side. We want to get rid of it, so we're going to move it to the right side. Whenever we move something across equal sign, the sign changes. It was a plus 2 here, so it will become a negative 2 over here. So this then becomes x is equal to 3 plus 4. And now we get minus 2 instead of plus 2, and then we combine those, we get x is equal to 3 plus 4 minus 2, or x is equal to 5. Over here, we have a negative 4 on the left side, we don't want it there, we want to move to the right side, so when we move it to the other side, the sign will change. Instead of a negative 4, we'll end up with a plus 4 on that side, so this becomes x is equal to 8, and now we have a plus 4, because we crossed the equal sign, or x is equal to 12. And notice we end up with the exact same results that we did over here, where we use the strict rule or property, the addition or subtraction property. We're going to apply that over here. Notice we want the x on the left side and the 3 on the right side. So here I'm going to move the x to the left and I'm going to move the 3 to the right. Again, in both cases, the sign will change. This was a negative x, it'll become a positive x. This was a positive 3, it will become a negative 3. So this becomes a plus x on the left side is equal to, and instead of a plus 3, we end up with a minus 3. And let me put the 2 first. I'll put the 2 here. It's typically what we do. And then the 3 becomes a negative 3 on the other side, so we have 2 minus 3. Notice I didn't have to write a plus there, but I just did, just to make sure we understood that the sign changes. And then we can simplify that by writing x is equal to 2 minus 3, which is a minus 1. Over here we're going to do the same thing. Here we have a minus x on the left side, on the right side, it goes to the left, and a plus 4 on the right side, which goes to the right. 
Did I say that right? 4 on the left side goes to the right. The sign changes. So the minus x goes over here. The plus 4 goes over there. So we end up with a plus x. Oop, I need a red pen. Plus x is equal to 3. Instead of a plus 4, since we crossed the equal sign, it becomes a minus 4. And then when we simplify that, we get x is equal to 3 minus 4, or negative 1. So you can see that that method is very quick and easy. If you're not sure, you can always use this method right here, the addition or subtraction property, by doing exactly the same to both sides. Or you can simply say, whenever I need something on the other side, I move it across the equal sign and simply sign the change of that term when I do move it across the equal sign. And that is how it's done.